Hey there guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to The Last Leviathan. We're now on episode 3, and on episode 2, we actually, we conquered the Cog class, and we moved up to the Hulk class. However, I noticed something while I was messing around today. Look, I got a whole star. Yay! Um, but I noticed something while I was messing around today. Well, this is as far as we can go. We can't go any further, so even if we build a whole bunch of, of great Hulks, and we defeat a whole bunch of big hulks we can't go up to the caribou class and then you know go up to the caribou carrick class and then the galley class and the galleon class because it's not even opened up in the game yet i think we can build caribou classes with the parts like just build big ships and stuff but we can't really do anything with them except for like use them in creative mode and you know fight against other workshop ships and you know I, so that really there's we're pretty much stuck and i really like games with progression so this is probably going to be the last episode we do for a while but because of that i decided we're going to do something a little bit different and something a little bit more fun today. So in my quest to kind of figure out what we're going to do with this, I was looking around at the workshop and I found something on the workshop, which absolutely astounded me. I was like, what the, what is, is this even possible? But apparently it's possible. So this is <laughs> compliments of, I'm probably going to put your name, but Quinn, 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 Rulis. Quink Rulis is the creator of this. Now, <laughs> This, it's, it's, it's marked, it is named the Tri-Rocket. Yes, this is actually a rocket. So he, he has angled the sails upwards so that this thing will actually get lift. <laughs> Physically, not possible. But in the game, apparently it is. I have not tried it yet, so I figured, let's give this a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Set sail! All right. So, yeah, apparently it sinks down like this, and then when you hold down the the forward key like the w key all the sails are going to open up and it's actually going to get lift and get out of the water uh, that didn't work so well did it okay let's let's try that again because i think i have to do it sooner i have to do it before it starts to tip i think set sail all right there we go there it goes y'all look at that wow and if you want to make it look like a rocket you can fire the main guns somehow oh that's not working <laughs> uh, how do I how do I fire them otherwise? No, I think I have to fire them when I'm closer to the ground. But yeah, that's pretty cool, eh? And apparently you can set it up so that there's rocket separation too as well. Uh, so hold on, let's try this again. So go forward. Fire! Oh, that didn't work very well. Fire! How come I can't fire? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Aww. Oh, okay. Well, we've got separation. Oh, now it's like a dolphin. <laughs> It's like a, it's a dolphin ship. Oh, uh, watch out for that island. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> There's parts flying everywhere. I love it. Okay, hold on. We're going to try this one more time. This is great. This is great. It's very creative. Like, who thought that, hey, if I turn the sails the other way, or if I turn the sails so that they're facing straight up, I can make a ship that actually flies. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. This is giving me an idea, though. So, I would love to turn that into a bomber. Like, I, I see what they're doing. Like, I, he's made it like a rocket so that if, if you can get those flamethrowers to fire, it looks like a rocket when it's launching. Um, but I'd love to turn that into a bomber. Okay, so there's another one we're going to check out. Just give me one sec here. Okay, Dave the Flying Fishy. This one is compliments of orange. So, let's see what this one is. So apparently, this is this is just a, a ship that flies. Okay, set sail. Uh... Oh, beautiful! Now, uh, this one is definitely like a dolphin. I'm having trouble actually getting up into the air here. Oh, there we go! It does not steer. Now, these things don't... Oh, pardon me. <laughs> My phone's going off. So, the that's a problem with... Once they're in the air, they can't steer. How do you steer it? Like, there's no way to steer it. The, you, the, rudder, the rudder only works if it's in the water. So... Yeah, so this one's kind of, it's cool. I like it. It's, it's, this one pr is a little bit more like an airplane. Now, it's got that keel in the front. So, I wonder how much time it took him to balance this out so that it actually flies. Now, it's not always flying, and it, I'm not sure exactly how to make that work. I think if, you, if, if we got in the angle of the wind, maybe it'll, yeah, it's, it's, when, when you get, you, when you catch that wind, the problem is it flips over and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, guys, you know what we're going to do? We're going to build, we're going to try and build a bomber. We're going to try and build a flying ship of our own. <laughs> ah, we can do this. Okay, so we're going to start new and I'm going to start building. Okay.
there she is. She's maybe not as pretty as the ones that we've seen so far, but she it took a lot of work to get this balanced properly. So the goal here was to build a bomber, something that could stay in the air for a relatively decent amount of time and shoot the mortars down below. <laughs> And I think I've done it. I mean, I, 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 I could probably spend a little bit more time to make it look better. But the thing is, it's perfectly balanced. It's weighted perfectly. Now, sometimes it just depends on the wind. But sometimes I can get some really good air time. Sometimes I can almost, it's almost like I can control it a little bit. Look at this. Beautiful. It's nice. As long as we get nice long air times and we can continue to shoot. See, there's the bad guys underneath there. Yeah, that's great. This is awesome. Actually, good relative control. I love it. Now, I was getting too, I was getting really greedy when I was putting on, you know, I was trying to put on, you know, tons of different types of mortars and stuff. Yeah, but great airtime. This is amazing. We actually flew off of the play area. I love it. I love it. Let's do it one more time. One more time for fun. <laughs> ah, this is great. It's, I, I wonder if they're going to take that out. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to take out the ability to make... Oh, and I didn't even die there. I wonder if they're going to take out the ability to make ships like airships. Because I hope they leave that in. I hope they do. I hope they actually, you know, add to that theory. You know, maybe give us balloons and stuff to work with so that we can build, you know, kind of steampunky kind of things. That would be really cool. Okay, let's see. Now, like, like I said, you can't steer with these. But yeah, look at the control. I love it. I love it. So I can actually go up. Maybe do a little... Uh, if I put a rudder on this, I can go up. Oh, brilliant. As long as as long as long I don't flip over. Hold on. Let's do one thing. Let's go to the dock. <laughs> I know. I spent all this time building it, and now I'm going to make an adjustment. But um, I think... Oh, I, it looks like I'm missing a block here, so that's unacceptable. Unacceptable, Rob. Unacceptable. All right. So if we put a rudder... We should be able to put a rudder, like, just a tiny one. doesn't have to be big. Just a little, little tiny rudder, like, right there. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the balance here, but let's let's give this a shot. So theoretically, we should be able to turn. We're in the water a little bit. Okay, as long as we go, don't go too fast and we and we don't start to get lift, we can actually turn a little bit. <gasps> oh, amazing. And then if we can land, somehow land in the water without... Uh, now, th see, that did actually... If that Adding that rudder actually affected our weight, the balance, just enough so that it flips over. <laughs> I'm gonna have to spend more time in the on, in the drawing board with this, but I like it. It turned out really well. So that we are naming this the Pelican Bomber. Dun dun dun! The Pelican Bomber. Oh, I love it. That's so great. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Last Leviathan. This is this is not only the last leviathan but this is the last of the last leviathan that i'm gonna be making for a while anyway and, and you know I'll, I'll keep up with this game you know as they release patches and stuff of course we're gonna check it out and and if play it with hopefully they they actually add and add add to this and make it so that we can you know make bigger and better and more unique flying ships maybe with even some control like air runners and some stuff, stuff that would be so cool or you know something that allows you know maybe props <gasps> maybe we can put props on the side to kind of turn no, probably not. But anyway, you get the idea. Super fun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini series. I had a great time making it. It was really fun. And this is this is awesome. Let's do this one more time. Let's just see if we can kind of control it. We can we can turn. Oh, wait till it gets back down to the water. We can turn a little bit. See, we've got the prop in there too as well, so that we can, you know, when we as long as we don't go too fast. Oh, oh, the problem is if we go too fast, it starts to uh, lift out of the water, right? Okay, there we go. We're, we're approaching the enemies. Look at, we've got the enemies. Fire! Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> the problem is, with, uh, you know, firing these weapons is also, you know, we get a little bit of pushback from that, too, as well. Oh, so close. We almost hit him. <gasps> oh, so close. Oh, yeah. Now we're going down. We're going down. Oh, humiliating. Humiliating. Oh, but this thing actually gets really good airtime. I really love it. It's great. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.